Why are they better this year? Uh, you know, they these guys all had those guys to look up to. Um, you know, if you have that much talent on your side and you're playing behind those guys every single day, you see what kind of work they put in. You uh, you see what it takes to, to be a good player in this league. Um, and so, I mean, I think they were just learning. You know, the, they did a really good job of kind of kicking it in the back. And then when, they, when it was their chance to go out there, you know, they made plays and they, they got to work. But when they were out, I think they did a good job of just watching those guys and, and learning. How are they better this year defensively, would you say? Uh, you know, that's that's kind of what I said. Just they're, you know, they're able to learn a lot last year. Um, I think this year they're really fast off the edges. Um, last year they are more kind of in-your-face guys. This year they're, they're, they're shiftier. They uh, they like to get around. Um, and, and really they, just try, like to be, they like to try to beat you off the edge and, and on two gap blocks. Is, Shel is there a guy that can be like Shelton who really just disrupts everything for their opponent that they play against? You know, they, they got a pretty big guy in the middle. Um, I forget his name, but uh, he, he's a pretty good, good-sized guy. He's about 3'11". Uh, you know, I don't think he has Sheldon's talent, but that's not saying. I mean, Sheldon's an extremely talented player. Uh, kid, kid can play well. He's really in your face and a very aggressive player. Um, he's been there for a little bit as well, so I, I think actually I've gone against him before. Um, and like I said, yeah, he, he, he's work, he's works his uh, works his tail off in there and, and, and comes off the ball. It's, it's, al it's always nasty in the trenches against you, Deb. Does it get? Tighten it all? Is it a little more nasty? Uh, you know, uh, last time I was out here, yeah, it got pretty nasty. You know, I mean, that was a fun game, though. We out physical them. Um, I think that was like the most pancakes I've ever had in my career here. Uh, and like I said, that was two years ago, so it's a completely different defense now. Um, there's a lot of talking going on back then. Last year, I think it was kind of something similar, it's, and, and it happens always with uh, between us and Washington. I think it's kind of kind of an unspoken, or probably not unspoken, but it's <laughs> it's, it's a rivalry, I guess you could say. Not not that it, we don't treat them any different or anything like that, but I think it does get a little more chippy in there. How much fun is it to play at Husky Stadium? A lot of fun. Like I said, that, that's the last time I played them personally was in Husky Stadium. And, uh, I mean, it was a great time just going out there. And, like I said, we, we were smacking them up front on the offensive line. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's fun, you know, because it's very hostile. You go in there, you're getting the middle finger from everybody you pass when you're, uh, when you're in the bus <laughs> driving in. Uh, I mean, normally it's just the college students that do it at other schools, but, but when it comes to, you'll, you'll see a 90-year-old grandma just, <laughs> you know, so it gets there. Uh, it's, it's, but that, that's the fun part of it, you know what I mean? You like, you like being hated that much in those kind of situations. And, uh, I mean, with our, our loss last week and our loss against Utah a few weeks back, um, you know, it's kind of like sharks are in the water now. Now we've got a little blood in the water, and they're going to be circling, really, really hoping to capitalize off our losses. What's it say about their defense that they can lose so many guys to the NFL and, and they're still – stopping teams that they're still going on the road and stopping teams too uh you know i mean i think that just shows how much, how well the the guys that are still here took the opportunity to learn from those guys that have left um you know they're very well coached they listen to their coaches and and i think their biggest thing is, is they seem to be really good at communication um because they they rarely have a point where uh there's a big i mean watching film there, there's really a, a time where you can tell if it's a broken defense or they uh you know fell off a little bit uh in one area or some coverage they jacked up they, they rarely do that you know so they're very well coached and then they stick to stick to their rules do you have to tell the young guys about this rivalry no not at all you know we like i said we try to keep it to uh you know the coaches might say something a little extra you know but we still it's always behind the basis of we're going to treat every team the same but you know let's get after these guys <laughs> kind of one of those things so last time washington D did beat oregon was 11 years ago what were you doing as an 11 or 12 year old I was 12, so I was probably playing airsoft. Uh, you know, just 12 man teams, just airsofting like crazy down in uh, Arizona in seventh grade. So that sounds probably about where I was at. <laughs> you know, got brutal out there. That's all I have for you. <laughs> no man left behind, though, I'll tell you. We went back for our guys.